I think I remember, you know, an issue with a, a friend of mine, even in adulthood, where I had to take those steps. And really the hardest part for me was realizing, like you said, that what someone does doesn't necessarily um, tank their character forever. And honestly, you know, kind of hearkening back to yesterday's conversation, counseling has helped me see that and just focusing on one scripture, there but for the grace of God go I, in realizing that in any of the things that could happen to me, apart from the grace of the Lord in my life, I have the propensity to wound other humans as deeply as humans have ever wounded humans before. And so it is really interesting to me when I start to think of it from that perspective that the only people I have to choose from, whether it's in friendship or family or with my husband, is a pool of people who are broken and being healed. They are in process. They are being sanctified and are imperfect. And that has helped me to really be able to stand in the place of forgiveness and say, hey, let me try to get the perspective that you were talking about, Jada, and see what does the Lord say about this relationship. And not just, you know, and, and do it every time. Ask the Lord for that perspective every time because he sees what I cannot see. And while I don't want to keep um, toxic relationships around, um, I also, and I don't want to toss good friendships away, the reality is only the Lord knows what's coming, and I want to be obedient to him when he speaks about those friendships. So I think that's kind of mm -hmm. how I've gotten my perspective, just remembering that, oh my goodness, everybody's imperfect, and in this sense, you've been wounded, and you've wounded others. So now what does the Lord say about this friendship? And starting with, we always say, you know, if, if, you, if, you're, if you have an ought against your brother, go to him. But there's a scripture in Colossians that just says, if somebody's offended you, forgive them. <laughs> it's like, start there. Right. And then if it's so big that you can't get over it, okay, start the process of bringing it to them. But the first response is forgiveness. And so it, it takes a lot of courage to do that for sure. One of the things that I've had, the Lord has really actually just had to show me and gently lead me into coming to grips with is the fact that, and you will be hurt again. And that's facing that fact, that in real, honest, and true relationship, you're going to be hurt again. Um, I think that has been the thing that has helped me realizing that you're not going to deal with perfect humans from here on out. So you can either close your heart and experience nothing and accept numbness, or you can allow yourself to be vulnerable again and enjoy amazing times with, and amazing relationships with different people, and you're going to have to risk being hurt again. But the kicker for me is this, that the Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and I don't have yeah. to be afraid of betrayal or heartbreak as though it's going to destroy me. Because even in betrayal, even in heartbreak, the Lord is near. And that is the only thing that can make it okay, is that the Lord himself yeah. draws near to me. That is the only salve that actually fixes the wound. You know, the person can apologize and do better. Like even a previous day, you know, Chris was saying, well-meaning people saying things that create insecurities. Well, the person may have apologized, loved you well, and you're still carrying that wound. But the reality is the Lord is the only salve to these wounds that have been created. And so when we allow him to move in to heal our wounds, and we can say again, I, I can risk being friends with people. I can risk staying married. I can risk having a relationship with family as we've established in healthy ways because I know that no matter what, God's grace is sufficient for me and he will be near. But I think it it, it takes that realizing that, yeah, this could actually happen again. That's the fear of not being vulnerable again. But if the Lord fixes that, then that's what we have to lean on. Hi, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.